morning guys it is the last day of our little staycation so we thought we would come up to the roof deck pool yeah it's super nice and nobody's up here so even better but yeah look at this view it's so pretty usually have this filled so it's like way better um, but seeing as nobody's really up here um, yeah this is what we have oh what is that Ferris wheel on the roof I'm just saying I wonder what that building is I did see the Ferris wheel when we were driving. I just didn't think it was on the roof of a place. We should see what that is. It's really cool. Mm. Um, rooftop water tanks always freak me out because I was living in LA um, and the building next door had a bunch of ambulance and police and all kinds of stuff. And it was because a girl had drown in the water tank you can like watch video they have it online the strange events that happened like before they found her super creepy cool. yeah. um but yeah here's more of the views so if you, you need get this guy coffee Leave this guy for one second, he's petting things. What kind of dog is this? <laughs> Cube. It's actually warming up, which is so nice. So I didn't do a room tour when we first got here, so might as well do one now. This is a bathroom. Don't mind the state of it, um, but just take a look at like how much guy stuff compares to girls. Um, literally, like. All he has is his little kit and I have literally everything in the shower um, and so this is what you see when you walk in um, again please ignore the state of the room oh hello but yeah it's so cute I love the old detailing um, which is really pretty. And they have green velvet curtains, which, oh, and it's not gonna show. I am like obsessed with green velvet. Oh, it's kind of picking up blue, but it's picking up more teal. But yeah, this is the room. <laughs> and it's super cute. Oh, and I love how um, like vintage it looks. I think the building next door is abandoned or they're or they are redoing it. Nobody's there, so it's quiet on that side, so it's really nice. And yeah, so now we're gonna try to find a diner, because like in old cities, it's just fun to go to old diners for breakfast. So we're gonna see which place has like a good breakfast or brunch or something. JP just went down to get, well, he just got back from getting is this one more coffee because he is the world's best boyfriend but yeah we're just gonna finish getting ready and everything um and then head out we have kind of a few things planned for to see if we could find like a really cool vintage store we went in 
a thrift store, like vintage store yesterday, and it was kind of like just picked over, like not the best, right? Yeah. Um, Wasn't it good so much? We waited like, how long? 30 minutes or something? We were only waiting in like 10 minutes on. Yeah. So, and we finally got in and we were like so disappointed, which stunk. But yeah, we're gonna try to find another place today. And then we have the mountain. Mounds. Mounds to go to. <laughs> Pretty chill day, but still a lot on the sketch. Mm. Most important, most important part of the day. Look at this cute dog. So we are at the Cahokia Historic Mound site and we just went inside and checked out like all the history and everything which is so interesting. We were saying, well he said, it's interesting that like we weren't taught about any of this in school. I mean this is a city of 20,000 people in like 1200 AD in the United States and it's like, never heard of it. <laughs> Maybe that's on me, but I don't remember learning any of this in school. I don't think I did either, aside from Sacagawea. Yeah, you learn about like Lewis and Clark and all those guys, and yeah. Pocahontas, I guess, but there were full-on societies out here before the white man showed up. Yeah, I feel like they also romanticized like a lot of the history um, in favor of like the white man everything saving, saving. Um, however we know the truth now. yeah it's just it's kind of wild um, how things get skewed throughout history I think it's cool you know these are, there are things in the United States that aren't super old since we're not an old country but you find places like this they're almost you know a thousand year old historic sites so, just go explore like the real history what really happened? Yeah, instead of just like textbook stuff. And that is the big mound. It's kind of small from here, but. <laughs> it's called Monk's Mound. That was the main city center was in front of that. And there was a ceremonial building palace on top. There's close to about a hundred of these mounds around here. And I think the city was like six square miles like that. Yeah. I think I was somewhere that's about the size of London. Which is wild. And they don't know what happened to the people in the community and stuff that was here. Cause there's disappeared. Yeah, they just disappeared. They don't really know exactly why. Everybody just kind of disappeared out of here. But... We will be uh, exploring, walking around the grounds and then going up to the top of the mount. Yeah. To the mound. <laughs> He's holding on for dear life. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Whoa. Hello. Hold on, bud. Hold on.
was the mound. Yes. There was a house here. The chief lived here. up your entire mouth on these. Oh. <laughs> that would hurt. Mm -hmm. 